Hey what's up guys this is the greatest intellect here and in today's video we'll be exploring how to uninstall apps on macOS whether you're looking to free up some storage or remove unused applications I've got you covered. There are multiple ways of doing this each having its own advantages and disadvantages. I'll go through them one by one for you to decide which one's good for you. So let's dive in. So the simplest and easiest way of doing this is to find the application you want to delete. You can do that by firing up the launchpad and looking for the app you want to delete. Once you find it, click and hold on the app icon and all the apps in the launchpad will start jiggling along with a little X button appearing on top of some. Now you can click on that little X icon and it will ask you for a confirmation. Click delete and the app will delete. You can also drag the application to the bin on your dock to delete it. Now, as you might have noticed, some apps don't have an X sign on them. And if you try to drag these kinds of apps to the bin, they will not delete. Well, to delete these kinds of apps, you will navigate to Finder on your Mac. Once you're in there, navigate to the Applications folder. This is where all your installed apps reside. Take a moment to browse through the list and locate the app you wish to uninstall. You can also use the search bar in the top right corner to quickly find the app by name. All right, now that we have found the app, we'll drag it to the bin at the dock like we previously did and it will be deleted. You can also right click or two finger tap on the app to open the options menu and click on move to bin option. Now keep in mind that some applications come with their own dedicated uninstallers to ensure a thorough removal of associated files. If that's the case, the uninstaller will launch automatically. Once the uninstaller is launched, Carefully follow the on-screen instructions provided by the developer. These instructions may vary depending on the app. They often include confirming the uninstallation, selecting additional components to remove, or providing authentication credentials. Now, this is the easy way to do it, but it has some caveats. Actually, when you delete apps this way, it will delete the app, but it won't delete the files related to it. And that clutters the system with unnecessary files. So if you want to get rid of the app along with the files related to it, follow this method instead. Go to Finder on your Mac and search for an app you want to delete. I'll search for Telegram in my case. And as you can see here, a long list of apps associated with Telegram appear. When you remove the app the traditional way, these files won't delete. To get rid of all these files along with the app, Click on this plus button on the top right and these two columns will pop up. Now click on the first column which says kind, well thanks, and click on other from the list of options. Now search for system and a system files option will appear. Check the box right next to it and it will be added to the list of options for future use. Next, change the next column from aren't included to are included. And now you can select all files by pressing Command A and right click or two finger tap on one of them and click move to bin from the list of options. Now if this whole process seems a burden and difficult to execute, do not worry, I'll show you an easier way to do this which makes this complex app removal a breeze. Launch a browser on your computer and search for App Cleaner on Google and click on the first result that is macsoft.net should be the first result. Scroll down and download the latest version of this program. I'll also drop a link in the description box below. You can download it from there as well. Now open your downloads page and unzip the application. Now drag and drop the app to your application section to install it and then launch it from the launchpad. Now that the app is launched, drag it onto the side and open Finder and navigate to the application section. And from the list of apps, drag the one you wish to delete, drop it onto the app cleaner and it should show you the app along with all the related files and folders. While doing this, if this shows you an app protected error similar to this, click the preferences button and in this menu uncheck this protect running apps option and close the menu. Now try dropping an app again and it should work. 
And as you can see here, it's showing the app along with the files related to it. Finally, click remove and you are done. So these are three different ways to delete apps on macOS. Now it's up to you to decide which one suits you best. That's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as I upload similar and more tutorial videos here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.